Kibuya County, specifically Kibuya, Kibuya market leadership, where the rank in Kibuya market where the leadership wrangles seem to have taken a different twist after the Kisumu County Assembly in response to a petition filed by traders recommended that the current officials be barred from participating in the coming elections slated for not later than 30th August this year. Among notable issues that informed the decision by the County Assembly Committee is the creation of temporary cells by the goons in the market in the name of detaining and cooperative traders and the daily collection of protection fee by the said goons. Bramwell Buire is in Kibuye market, market in Kisumu and now joins us live. Bramwell, good morning. What more can you tell us? Good morning, Ashley. As you said, yes, we're here in Kibuye market. This is one of the biggest open air markets, not just in the region, but the entire country. And it's a, a market that always have, has interest, both for politicians, both for the traders here. And of course, we expected that these leadership wrangles will always emanate any time we reach three years. Because remember, the officials here are supposed to serve for an, a period of three years before there is another election. There have been a lot that have been going on from the petition that was slated back last year uh, was slated last year up to this time round when we are having these elections uh, almost taking place but allow me to talk to the leaders who are here they are going to shed some of the light on the petition issues that have been raised by the petitioner to the county assembly let me start with the lady here first things first. They are saying that you are not, uh, the county assembly has recommended that you are not eligible to vie in that uh, August 30th election. What is your take on this? Our take on this, um, my, by my name is Amlineto Nyango. I deal in cereals. I'm one of the leaders. I am the treasurer for foodstuff and currently a member of the market management committee. The take that we have on this, as we are proud because we are being elected by the traders, we are not elected by the county. And so long as the traders are behind us, we know it is that the traders who understand what we do for them. So we know that when time comes for vying for the same, they are going to re-elect us. So we are not worried about that. Maybe you're saying that uh, they are going to re-elect you. This market belongs, uh, falls under the county government. The county assembly equally has a, a strong say in whatever is happening in this particular market. When you defy maybe the orders or the directives by the county assembly committee, what is uh, does this equals to uh, subordination? It is not in subordination because we've not defied the orders. Ibu has got a lot of propaganda. Initially, they were saying that when the market leaders were being elected, I would say that the public participation was done because Kibuye has got seven sectors. One of them is the foodstuff where I come from. The second one is the textile. The third one is the tinsmith. The fourth one is the mutumba. The, um, the fifth one is uh, furniture. The sixth one is uh, transport. And the seventh one is... Um, pardon? General merchants. So under the general merchants, we have the shops, we have the butchers, we have the empesas, we have the Malimali -mali people. So that is what comprises the general merchants. So Kibuye, initially, the, it became difficult for the county government to get leaders to work with because they used to group and go to the county government that they are their leaders. So it came to a time that now we were now coming back to Kibuye after the corona. We sat with the city manager and he wanted to know the leaders. So we came about the seven sectors, whereas we were elected the three leaders, the chairperson, the treasurer, and the secretary from the each sectors. That was now 21 members in total. 21 members in total, we were given three appointees from the county, those who were to monitor how we were working. So it is the 21 members who elected the leaders. It was not banned by the county, it was done by the traders ourselves. We were locked in a room. We were told to choose the leaders within ourselves. And that is how it was done. Thank you. Let me talk to the gentleman here. They are saying that you have a, a splinter group of goons who, are, who have makeshift and temporary sales. Their duty is to lock in and cooperative members of the market. What is your take on that? 
Uh, I'm, I'm Kennedy Anditi. I'm a trader at Kibuye and one of the leaders at in food staff. I'm the Secretary General. I do trade on fruits. Uh, first of all, let me give you a brief history of the, the so-called goons. To my understanding, we don't have goons in the market. During Corona pandemic in uh, 2020, we were removed, the market was closed and we were chased away. We had no place, we scattered all over the, the pathways and the roads, beside the roads, reserves to, to trade. I personally, plus other leaders who are there, went to book an appointment with the governor. And we met the governor at Sunset Hotel, where we requested him to give us the space at the stadium so that as food staff, we could trade there. The governor accepted our plea on conditions that we were going to keep cleanliness, we were going to guard our own goods, we were going to clean the market, which we came back as officials, we sat down with the traders, we agreed. We agreed to hire some of our young traders, boys who are there in the market, to guard our goods, because by then, uh, you remember that Takataka was there, the dump site, and it had a lot of ninjas plus, uh, plus thugs around who would come at night and steal our, and, and take away our goods. So we organized that as traders, and we agreed that each and every trader would contribute 20 shillings to cater for the cleaning of the market and paying the night guards, our boys, who are now called goons. By then, uh, the chairman was Ouka Ono and Mary Agala. Now, when we did our elections and uh, we defeated these people, the chair lady, Madam Judith Nyaramba, directed that, sat down with the, with, with, with the traders, and we decided to reduce the 20 shillings to 10 shillings. That is when we were at the, at, at the, at the stadium. Now, when we came to Kibuye, when Kibuye reopened, we decided to maintain the boys because the county government could not give us enough as carries to take uh, secu for, to secure our goods. So we decided to continue with the guys. They are young people. They have got families to, 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 to take care of. So we decided to continue with the giving 10 shillings per stall per day to pay them for the night service. When we talked to the enforcement department, they, oh, there was only one Ascari. Later on, they decided to bring in a, a contracted company guard for, of about five, the, three people. Those ones are not enough, considering the size of the Kibuye. So we have got 12 gates, and only one gate, two gates could be manned. We decided that we continue guarding our goods with the guys. So Back to the main point now. You are not supposed to vie in the coming elections. We've seen uh, one of the leaders saying they are elected by the, by the traders. No one can come and stand in the way of the traders. If they, are, they choose to re-elect you guys, you're good to go. What will happen now that the county assembly seems to be contradicting the, the, the opinion you're having? Now, the, this, uh, this suggestion is somehow malicious. Why do they bar us? We have only gone for one term. What wrong have we done? They are saying you are, contra you are contradicting Section 6 of the Constitution. Take it. Well, uh, according to me, I'm a very, we are a very committed people, and the, the people themselves, the traders, are the people to speak and say, what, if, if we have done any wrong to them, if we have, uh, uh, if there, there is something wrong to traders, if you have violated their rights, then they have got the rights to bar us from uh, recontesting. But as we stand now, there is no proper evidence produced to bar us from recontesting or re -elect, uh, re -re I mean contesting a re-election. Who are these people? Who are these malicious people against you leaders? Now, these are people, uh, the former regimes, and uh, they have, uh, those, most of them are not even traders in the market. Most of them. 
are not even the traders. And these are the people, the former landlords of Kibuye, who have regrouped after the governor demolished their premises. They, they, they want to regroup and take over Kibuye from people. They used to sell stalls at high cost prices. They used to man toilets. Eh? And they used to do so many, they used to exploit traders. Eh? So these people are regrouping so that they continue with their uh, Ill, 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 Ill motives, personal gains. They don't care about the traders. We care about the traders. The spaces were allotted freely. Nobody missed the, uh, I mean, space. And the traders are not now being exploited. Eh? Everyone is, has been given a free will. Now, if I may ask, why can't they come out and say, prove that they are traders, they are paying taxes to the, the county? They should prove that to the county. Thank you. Those are some of the sentiments by leaders here. It is a conversation that we're going to keep tabs close here. We are going to follow up with these traders, talk to them extensively, talk to their leaders who are here, talk to the traders. Later on, we are going to find that splinter group that is saying that they are not eligible. After all, we have the report and the recommendations from the county assembly, something that is going to inform our subsequent bulletins. From here in Kibuye, back to you in the studios. Thank you, Bramwell Bure, for that. Now to other news. Kenya Power has announced a 13% reduction in the cost of purchasing electricity, bringing the much-needed relief for its consumers. Experts, however, argue that this is a temporary...